I'm the Budget Modeler and this is episode 10 of my Wingnut Wing Sock with Dolphin Build. In the last episode, I put in the pipework for the radiators in the side of the office. So, let's crank up the speedy uppy thing and get those radiators fitted. That's all the parts off the sprue and cleaned up. Now it's time to get them glued together. So without further ado, let's crack on. Right, that's them done. Now to do some touch-ups of the office. Oi, easy in the cheap seats. As you can see here, I broke off a couple of parts, so I've had to re-glue the movie movie stick and the slippy slidey footrests. Right, they're glued back in place. Here, I thought, I know what, I'm gonna be really smart and glue the office in. I thought, I'd glue it to the lower wing first, then add the sides. Oh, how wrong I was. I broke part of the office frame doing so. So, and it just didn't work. So I'm gonna jump past this part, but just remember with Wing Not Wings models, follow the destructions. They know better than we do. Now I'm going to mask off the inside of the fuselage ready for some silver in the engine bay. This shouldn't take too long so let's crack on. That's all masked. Now for a bit of silver spraying. Also, I'm sorry about the focus. Don't know about you lot but it's really doing my head in. And that's them done. That didn't take long, did it? I personally feel that it takes longer to clean the airbrush than it does to use it sometimes. Thoughts? Here you go, the unmasking. Well, they've come out with nice crisp lines. Yeah, okay, quiet in the cheap seats. Now, a little touch-up of the rear skid. Really, guys? Not that sort of touch-up and not that sort of skid. What sort of show do you think this is? Anyway, let's crack on. Okay, that's painted. What I'm doing now, as you can see, is just marking off what I've done in the destructions. Now I'm going to move on to a bit of PE work, but before I can start that, you see where I slide my finger across the raised part? That needs to be removed. I've quickly arrowed it. So let's get rid of that and crack on with the PE. Thank you. 
There's that cracked. Now we can mark off in the destructions what we've done and move on to fixing the drive mech for the prop. When I was snipping it off the sprue, I broke the chain. So remember folks, be careful when removing parts from the sprue. It happens to all of us. So I've just fixed it with a bit of my own plastic glue, which works brilliantly. Pop and see it, have a look at it. Let me know what you think. Now I'm moving on to the twin machine guns. I really cocked up here. I put the little barrels on before I put the PE on. Good God, I'm making some right clunkers here. But hey, that's modeling. We all make mistakes, even the best modelers. So don't worry about making mistakes. You'll learn from them. We all do. Anyone who tells you they don't, well, I'll leave that to you to decide. Right, that's the guns done. Now it's time to move back to the office and to start attaching it to the fuselage the correct way. Not my way, but as in the destructions. So let's crack on. Well, that's certainly looking good. I'm dead chuffed with that. Right, time to move on. Let's get some rigging and drilling and sticking done on the fuselage. I'm doing all the internal rigging lines on the fuselage before I seal it up. The reason is it would be too hard to fix them. Also, I've drilled out some of the holes as they were only slight indents on the plastic and I hate attaching rigging like that. I prefer to give it a good length to adhere to. It makes the connection stronger. Here, I'm doing the rigging for the undercart bracing and also fixing the undercart as well as it seemed like an ideal time to do it whereas it could brace it in place.
And look at this, a show and tell. Get me! I've put the wings like this so the undercart bracing can dry and hopefully the rigging will keep it in shape and square. Fingers crossed. Well, this seems like a good place to end episode 10. Thank you for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel. Help it grow. Get the message out there to as many modelers as possible. Like the video and ring my bell. Remember folks, stay safe. Keep on modelling. <laughs>